Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exosiers content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the overall tier list for 2021 version 1. But before that, if you want updated Exosiers content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, before we, we proceed, some things to consider first. So number one, this is just my own opinion based on the gameplay that I've had and based on my experience. So if you disagree with me on some points, please write them down in the comment section below so that we may have a review on it on what you think. And number two is the tier list is based on the overall impact of these heroes, namely PvP and PvE content of the game so we'll start off with your tier c so right on uh, sorry on your left you have f uh Ulum, which he's there for breaking multiple guardian stones particularly random so when he when he is paired with battery and he has tranquil he can break multiple guardian stones so if you note as well in tier c most of the heroes are actually available to newer players um next would be naomi so Naomi is actually a good, good starter um, in terms of overall, overall play in the game. Um, she has provoke, she has good defense, she has a good passive, and she pairs well with Dorka. And I suggest you pair her with Dorka. Number three in tier C would be FC Baraka, um, the the Black Fate core. So for him. He is actually just slightly less effective than the than the uh, the blue fate core Baraka. Um, very fast hero, very high speed, and is actually great for immediate impact or damage in the game. Um, next would be Radley. So he's fated Radley, the regular one. So for Radley. Um, as my experience as a new player that I was before and until now, I still am impressed with, with Radley, even though he's only the fated version. So um, big damage for S2 and good S1 skill as well. So he will actually fit in your PvP and PvE teams. Our next would be FC. That is FC Bernadette. So for FC Bernadette, um she is actually better with her fc because of flap flap so that is actually the, the the big difference most of the beginners have her initially um with her fc she gains additional stats as well and additional passive skills uh, again especially flap flap so it actually makes her formidable except that um, when she encounters summer's blessing within the enemy she's gonna slow down a bit but again, she's a good uh, hero at tier C. And to round out our our tier C would be FC Ramji, um, the um, the other FC Ramji. So FC Ramji is good actually for for nullify heal. That is why he is here. If you don't have the um, the first guardian version, this FC version is actually good as well. So let's proceed to our tier B. So for tier B to start, we have Garf, um, Faded Garf. Garf is a solid um, hero or general. He actually fills a lot of spots in your PvE and PvP teams as well. He gives you shared health. He gives you additional health defense and very all around in terms of, um, in terms of his playability. Next would be FC Otard. So FC Otard actually deals more damage in her FC form. Um, AoEs for both um, AoEs for S2, and I think it's only a single target for S1, but re uh, deals very big damage with burst attacks. And also, um, she actually mirrors her damage in uh, output, um, similar to Bathory as well. So very good at tier B. Next would be FC Jin. So FC Jin is here because um, FC Jin excels in PvP, but um, as for as for PvE, not so much because both of his both of both of his attacks are single targets, 
so he now is in tier b the next would be fc luke luke is here because of his um his his skills that he can absorb damage and he has provoke as well so he, uh, he absorbs a lot of damage therefore protecting his team or the, the team that he's on so fc luke is actually great as well in pvp um probably in your tag teams and he is actually i think average in 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 your in your pve teams next would be fc anastasia she used to be the pvp queen way back when i was beginning the game um she is actually she can still actually be part of your pvp tag teams um but she is actually good in your pve content because of her first dragon passive abilities um she can still hold her own with the big damage for her s2 and uh sorry which with the big damage and also a big heal as well um for next would be fc scarlet so fc scarlet is here um she cur she recently had a big buff but that big buff is is not really you know doesn't really translate that well into moving her up so she's still in in tier b so for fc sorry fc scarlet um she actually has two aoe skills for s1 and s2 big damage as well and uh, as a summer fest uh, uh, unit she actually also has flap flap very good utility for an aoe hero next would be fc degas so fc degas here is actually or has been one of the good um defenders or support heroes that we have so he has provoke he has flap flap because of of, of, of uh, him being a summer unit and um, he has good survivability increase his health and provoke as well so but not enough to put him in tier a and to round out our team b our tier b is fc rachel the blue fate core this version of fc rachel is actually good as well um he gives additional bonuses to his nation but um if you compare him with the gold fate core rachel um he has lesser damage but he has more utility actually um in terms of his gameplay that is why he is here um he fits well with your pvp as well as your pve teams so we proceed now to your tier tier a so for your tier a i have two slides for you we'll start off with fc emma so since the rework of fc emma she has been actually very good a very good utility in decreasing the defense of opponents and also when she dies or or, or is removed from the battle so very good support um, especially if you bring her with high damage teams she can really um she can really um give a lot of you know or, or add to a lot of damage to your opposing teams so next would be fc zeon fc zeon here is actually the um, this is the the first guardian version so fc zeon has still still has it in terms of pvp he's still being used in the middle tiers of pvp um very good as well in your pve content so he used to actually dominate pvp when the game started and when the first guardians were first released next would be fc adams so fc adams here is actually a good um good support or or high damage support because number one he has heart strike and number two he deals a lot of damage especially for his s2 and with his fc he actually gains um, additional stats as well that is why and he has been actually seen in one in some of the top tier teams in pvp that is why he's here for 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 pve he actually is um he can be your your assassin or the one that takes out um key 
he heroes on the opposite team or the, or the enemies uh, in, 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 in PvE. So that is his role um, for FC Adams. So also for our tier A, you have here FC, I think it's FC Baraka. So this is the best version of FC, FC Baraka because additionally, aside from being fast, giving high damage as well, and turn reset for himself, he actually has the first dragon ability. That is why this version of S FC Baraka is in tier A. Next would be the gold gold FC of uh, Rachel. So the gold FC of Rachel is probably one of the most well-balanced in terms of high attack and as well as utility because he gives the team increased attack and he is actually a mid-level assassin not he doesn't deal that much damage but decent enough but he is actually very good in terms of fast teams that you deploy him in especially in the back row because he gives also mana and to round out the, the tier a heroes you have your faded battery so battery whether in her in her fc or in her faded form she is going to be very good a very good all-around hero because mainly of tranquil and her skills you don't lose a lot um even with the with the with faded battery you lose additional you will use additional um pluses or or stats but i tell you um faded battery actually gives you a lot even in her faded form because most of her important skills are still with her and also her FC or her Fate Core. So that rounds out our tier A. So let's go to our tier S. Oh, sorry, so, um, we'll proceed to another slide for tier A, I forgot. So we have here, um, we have here FC Shufraken for tier A. Um, she, uh, he is actually paired with, uh, with, Val with FC Valentina because their synergy is very good and some some of the teams really still bring them in 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 the top teams for pvp not really the top teams but more on the mid-tier pvp and also um for fc valentina she's also being being used in pvp tag so both of them have a synergy uh, of fear the abyss which they actually are good together Plus, again, on the third one, that is FC Ramji. So the three of them have the Fear of the Abyss Energy. The three of them are very good. Not really very good, but decent um, up to near, 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 near the top of PvP teams. But they also are a utility in your PvE teams. So that is why they're all here. All three of them are in Tier A. The fourth one is FC Lepin. Again, FC Lepin is 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 very is very good in terms of her utility, um, her heal, her revive, um, her turn reset. It's actually good. The turn reset is good anywhere in PVE, in PVP, and she is actually um, um, the top reviver in Exos Heroes. Um, I think the other one, the new one, which is not here, is um, I forgot her name. She was she was recent, recently released, but anyway, um, she might be in the tier list soon or in the future. Next is FC Maggie. Maggie is here because she specializes in in you know you bring her in the dragon. You, she is also good in your chapters, and she is actually decent and to good or to average in your pvp teams she's usually being used in tag pvp that is why she is here and she's a good all-around um first guardian with um uh with the uh, aoe's for s1 in her s2 to round out the final list in tier a is fc deva fc deva has been one of my favorites actually um in, uh, as heroes because she gives a big damage for her S2 and and she gives a AOE for her S1 but recently since the meta changed to 
a more def- defensive type. FC Deva has been, you know, has been relegated to the second tier of or the third tier of uh, of heroes in terms of PvP because the meta has changed. But before that, she used to dominate PvP, but she is actually very useful very uh, uh, brings her a game as well in your pve content especially in chapters you can actually have her as a replacement for dorka if you don't have dorka so that rounds out our tier a so we move to the our s tier so for our s tier these are the most dominant or part of the most dominant team um the most dominant class is your ss but these these heroes are already very dominant in their own right so you have their fc garf uh, again shared health very tanky especially with increased stat you have their fc iris for two mana you can span that two mana every turn um she is actually back as queen of pvp but she actually performs well in in pve as well Ulum is here for FC because FC Ulum brings brings more more survivability for her and for the team as well. And same, she also has she could still break random garden stones. And recently, FC Radley has been S tier for PvP. That is why he is here, and he is very good in your PvE content. Uh, chapters because of his AOE um, he is actually good more survivability to your team um, he can actually carry your team together with FC Garf that is why they're here so next would be Schmidt Schmidt is here primarily because of his turn reset um, there is there he has a good synergy with with heroes lower lower defense than him that um, when he gives prey to the other team they can actually reset their attack he has a very unique skill that um, um, places him in the tier s of exos heroes next would be fc annie so fc annie is a no-brainer in terms of overall impact she is actually very good in your for me because i i actually built her up to the max already she is very good in your pve in terms of aoe damage massive damage like battery and s1 um she has silence as well she gives immunity to the to your fastest um hero she gives mana as well very good very good very very good um hero if you have her on your team Next would be FC Brook. FC Brook actually is also very good. Take this, take note of this in the Dragon. Um, she is actually very good as well in PvP. So very good all around. Um, her recent buff or her, her the buff that gave her um, um, additional attacks or um, she attacks together with another hero if if she has bar if she has I think. A certain spell or a barrier i forgot but sh- with that mechanic she can be a great support or a primary attacker for your team both for pve and pvp then to round out our tier s you have here fc shell so fc shell i've learned that even without without uh, janai is actually good because most most of the players actually use her s2 not so much her s1 but she is actually very good in changing the tempo both for pve and for pvp so she is but she is currently used more in pvp but recently she has taken a hit both her and Janai. but she is still in the top i oh know top um heroes in exos heroes for pve and for pvp and now to our SS tier, the top heroes for SS tier. So there you have it, folks. Most of them actually are in the top of PvP right now, but they are also very good in your PvE content. 
I won't elaborate on them more. Most of you have them or most of you use them. So these, the, if you have these heroes, they are good for both PvP and for PvE. So don't, do not, you know, do not um, try to, sorry, try to, um, uh, try to improve on them. Especially Tantalo. Tantalo is actually very pesky in terms of damage immunity. Talia because of her heal, big heal. Uh, Janai because of her overall utility, poison and increased attack and charm. For Dorka, overall ability. She is one of my top heroes actually with, uh, with her S2, big single target damage. For her S1, it's an AoE, but once you unleash potential, she can, can use bind on your first turn for her. And she has heal, definitely very good hero. I can't wait for FC to go out. And you have their FC battery again. Very good hero, very good survivability. And um, in the current meta for PvP, excellent. Very good as well in your, in your PvE. Once you pair her with Ulum, um, most of your P PvE content in the chapters or yeah, in the chapters actually require you to break Guardian Stone. So she's a good fit there together with Ulum. And last to clear out to, to finish off the list is F Herrera because number one of her survivability, her AoE and high damage in both PvP and PvE content. So anyway, guys, that is it for your tier list from me. Again, this is just my opinion. If you have some comments, write them down below. If you have some objections, write them down below. And please do support my channel. Subscribe, support. Um, I'm on my way to 500. Please help me, guys. Thank you again for everyone who has supported me since day one. Um, and I promise to give you better and more content in the future. So this is The Warden. You all stay safe. I'm out.